Hey sewing friends! My name is Alice Murray. Welcome to my channel, Mermaid Designs. Welcome back to the week of the seven piece casual, no, seven piece comfortable, no, seven piece COVID comfortable capsule wardrobe. There, I got it. It only took three tries. Yes, this week we are talking about creating a very comfortable COVID friendly capsule wardrobe. Something you can wear at home. Something you can nap in, answer the door in, um, read a book in, be on a Zoom call in, and the seven pieces all, that's the thing about a capsule wardrobe is the seven pieces all coordinate with each other. So with just seven pieces, you can get many, many different looks. And it's more than 20, more than 20 with this capsule wardrobe. So kind of spice things up. So today is day three. We are, don't you just love my techie thing? Uh, we are doing three toppers, two bottoms, three tops. I don't keep saying that. Two toppers, two bottoms. And we looked at the short sleeve t-shirt, we looked at the leggings, and here on day three we are looking at the long sleeved t-shirt. I will give you a twirl and then we'll do the pattern review. Yesterday I showed you these leggings, which I love, and I love this t-shirt. I love it. This is, um, again, fabric from the Fabric Snob. You really got to check them out. They just have awesome fabric. The colors are so vibrant. It's very, like I call this, um, I don't know, it's almost a, a scuba. It's very thick beautiful beautiful fabric and it has uh, like it has some blue and some red and some pink lots of colors in it which is a, a nice thing about um, in a capsule wardrobe you need to have uh, you know some solid colors because uh, things to mix and match them you need you need uh, some solid colors to make mix and match but also you kind of spice it up with uh, some some florals in there. So this pattern, I also love this pattern. I made this uh, about three weeks ago as a dress. I made this version of it for uh, the week where I did how to wear red. Um, this is Quick Sew 3658. And I think this is a very um, flattering style. I think the, the V-neck, uh, just the way it goes, I think it is a very flattering shape. And um, I, I, loved, I, loved the, uh, I loved the dress. But um, I do know I will wear a I think, long sleeve t-shirt more than I would wear the dress. Um, I just wanted to show you the, uh, the pattern pieces. It is a very, like, it is such a fun thing to make because it is kind of different from anything else I've ever made. This is the front pattern piece. You cut two of those and then you sew it together at the top and you sew, there's a dot in here and you sew the front together up to the dot. And then you fold it inside out and bam, you've got facing, you've got this, um, this collar. Uh, you could wear it as a stand-up collar. I folded it over, but you can wear it also as a stand-up collar and uh, and this v-neck like it is so simple so simple it's 
simple and flattering. You really can't beat that. So yeah, that is uh, Quick Sew 3658. Excellent pattern. And um, yeah, you can wear the collar up or you can wear it down. And I also made, out of a scrap of the material left, I made a headband. I think it's fun if you have material left over. There's all sorts of things you can make. You can make infinity scarves. You can make uh, scrunchies, which I showed you yesterday, the day before yesterday. You can make headbands. This is such nice stretchy material. I just, all I did was uh, measure my head, um, cut the material a piece that long, made it kind of thought that's how wide it should be. So I doubled the width of it, sewed it together, turned it right side out, and then just sewed the uh, back together. And I, I sewed it at a bit of an angle so that it would sit on my head good. And it does. My hair, I, uh, if you go back and watch my videos, uh, I think we're at about 162. Uh, if you go back and watch my videos, you'll see my hair growing that um, I, I actually, when COVID started, had very short hair and um, have only had my dear husband to cut my hair for me since then. And um, so it's getting longer and it is nice to have things to keep it out of my face. But yes, if you have leftover material, you can make headbands, you can make scrunchies, you can make infinity scarves, you can make masks that match your clothes. How fun is that? So, uh, so yeah. Lots, lots of fun things. And um, today in my grateful thread, just something that I'm so grateful for every single day, and I don't think I've mentioned it, is that um, because of the situation, uh, we live on a farm. Our daughter and son-in-law and their four boys uh, live on the farm with us. And because of the situation, we're you know staying at home, and so we're homeschooling the boys. And um, so there's two older ones and two littler ones. You'll see a video of them that was on uh, Halloween, actually. Um, they're eight years old, and I am homeschooling them grade three. And it is, without a doubt, the biggest, greatest thing I've ever got to do, to spend every single day with those, those two. Um, I worked a long time, retired, just about the same time they started school and um, so like this opportunity to set, spend time with them it's, it's just so precious to me so I just wanted to share that with you COVID is a, is a terrible thing for sure but uh, in everything there is there are some blessings so that is one of the things that has really blessed me getting to uh, spend time with my grandsons I do miss the ones that aren't here though um, but anyways, I hope you're working on a COVID comfortable capsule wardrobe and I hope that you are sewing because sewing is so much fun and I hope you'll be back tomorrow to see piece number four.